It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso here on SABC3. Now I'm very excited to introduce to you our literary guest this morning. He is a maritime lawyer, a, para, a pioneer swimmer, an ocean advocate, and one of the world's leading inspirational speakers. He was born in Plymouth and moved to South Africa with his family when he was just 10 years old. He was the first to complete a long distance swim in every ocean of the world and has pioneered more swims around famous landmarks than any other person in history. And in 2010, he was appointed a young global leader by the World Economic Forum. He lives between London and Cape Town, and of course, it is a very incredible honor for us to have a man that has achieved some of the most incredible feats imaginable. I'm talking about Lewis Pugh, and he's here this morning with his newest books, 21 Yaks and a Speedo. Lewis, good morning and welcome to Expresso. Thank you so much. What an introduction there, hey? Thank you. And still, we feel like there's more to say. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Lots more to say. Well, it is a very uh, an, a massive honor for us to have you here talking about your newest book this morning. But before we get into that, when I was preparing for the interview, and of course when I do, I take the book around with me everywhere because I don't know when I'm going to get an opportunity to read, so I grab a second here and there. And a lot of people would see the book and they would say, oh, it's that guy that swims in a speedo in sub-zero temperatures, like he loves it all the time. Tell us, what is the misperceptions around what you do? Why exactly you swim in a speedo and what exactly it's all about? Well, I think there are two big misconceptions. The first one is I love swimming in cold water. Yes. Is that, a, is that a misconception? Total. Wow. Uh, I swim in cold water simply to carry a message. Okay. So I went to do a swim across the North Pole. I went up Mount Everest and swam in a glacial lake. Wow. I did them simply to tell a story. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to swim across the North Pole. Wow. You shouldn't be able to swim on a lake in, uh, uh, on Mount Everest. Yeah. These are caused because of climate change. And yeah. I, you know, I'm an ocean advocate. I'm trying to tell a story yeah. through my swimming. Yeah. But that's what's so powerful. You shouldn't be able to, yes. but yet you've done it. Yes. Which we'll talk a bit about more. So many things that we've said, I shouldn't be able to do this. And we stop ourselves from doing it. But meanwhile, we actually have the capacity to do these things. Well, that, yeah, that's so very, very true. So yeah. many times in life we say we can get this far but no further. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. we just have to push boundaries, keep pushing them. Wonderful stuff. Now your book, 21 Yaks and a Speedo, is, it's like a how to achieve success book, right? Before we talk about that, what is a yak? <laughs> <laughs> so when we went up Everest, yeah. we had a lot of equipment to carry up. We had to carry a boat up Mount yeah. Everest. And obviously Sherpas aren't able to carry an enormous boat up Everest. So there's these big, uh, woolly uh, uh, oxen that yes, carry, yes. carry all the equipment up, up Everest. But it was also a play on words. Mm. So this is 21 short stories. And, you know, we talk about yakety yak. Stop yeah, yeah, talking and yes. start doing Absolutely. when it comes to your dreams in life. I love that. I love that. So these are 21 um, kind of strategies that you give people out there in order to achieve yeah. what you say is your impossible. Not someone else's impossible. Absolutely. Your impossible. And you share with us some really, really great stories. Um, one of them is titled Fuss Bait. Yes. Now, of course, we all know the Afrikaans word fussbait. It means hold on. Yeah. Um, the story that you, you share with us here is, is very, very powerful. And it starts off with this. I just would like to share this with you very, very quickly with my uh, bookmark. That is a picture of my mom. It says here, it is impossible to describe what it feels like to be left on the mountain to die. But it's a moment you never forget. Mm -hmm. Take us through that story. Well, it's a story I, I was serving in the British SAS. It was during the selection uh, course. I was uh, left uh, on a Welsh mountain, mm. and uh, I had a very, very bad knee. It was in a, in a horrendous storm, one yeah. of the worst storms we'd ever been through. And I was left there on my own in, 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 on the mountain, and I had to literally uh, crawl off that mountain. Yeah. Uh, I had no choice. But you know, when, you were, when you're abandoned by, you, by people and, and then left there, it's, yeah. it's something you, you, you never ever forget. Yeah. And the interesting thing was that of those other recruits who abandoned me, only one of them then went on actually to make the course. Yeah. Of the 200 of us who started the course, only three of us actually yeah. made it through. So it's, it's a very robust course. It is, and it's an, it's an amazing story because there you were. You were left to die by people that were there to help you finish. Yeah. And you actually helped, you actually finished ahead of them. Mm. And that was amazing. And that's why I love that story, Fuss It tells each one of us, regardless of what your situation is, yeah. hold on, yeah. you can make it. Most people give up. Yeah. And they give up at the 11th hour. Yeah. 
and, and, and it's such a great word, fussbait. Yeah. And, and you just can't translate it for the British people mm -hmm. or for anybody overseas. But it means, hold on, yeah. keep on going. Yeah. Most battles are won in the 11th hour. You just have yeah. to have the grit and determination just to put the next step forward. Yeah. Now that's the powerful thing. That's just one of 21 other strategies that you share in this book. What, what has stood out for you in this one? I know that one resonated with me. What was your best one? I, I think all of them are strong, but I, I think perhaps the strongest is follow your own dreams in life. Yeah. Wow. Because imagine getting all the way to the end of your life to realize, gosh, I've just been following somebody else's dreams. Wow. And I think the other one is make sure, make sure that you're doing what you're really good at in life. Mm. So make sure you're doing what you love and what you're good at. And where those two cross over, that is what you were meant to be doing. Powerful stuff. Lewis Pugh, my goodness, I wish we had like two and a half more hours to talk about this because this is powerful stuff. And what's amazing is we are giving away 20 hampers this morning of 21 yaks and a speedo, as well as this other awesome book over here, Achieving the Impossible. You can stand a chance to walk away with one of those 20 hampers. All you have to do is SMS the word WIN to 33728 and who knows, that could be yours, followed by, of course, your name and city as well. I would love you to win one of these books. And of course, this one is a really, really powerful one. As well it's it's changed my life literally Lewis thank you so much for being with us you're gonna be with us for the rest of the show as well right thank you yes I can see some apple pie over there. <laughs> yeah. wonderful stuff talking about apple crumble we're about to make a delicious one just for Lewis <laughs>